फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी ऑब्जेक्ट बेस्ड इमेज सेगमेंटेशन इन सागा जी आई एस नॉट मेनी सॉफ्टवेयर आर देयर वेर यू कैन डू ऑब्जेक्ट बेस्ड सेगमेंटेशन मेनी आर प्रोपरेटिव सॉफ्टवेयर सागा प्रोवाइड्स एन ओपन सोर्स सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट बेस्ड सेगमेंटेशन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी ओनली अप टू सेगमेंटेशन इन फर्दर वीडियो विल गो फॉर अनसुपरवाइज एंड सुपरवाइज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस सेगमेंट फर्स्ट यू है आई हेव गॉट दिस डिसन मॉडल एंड देन आई हैव गॉट सम टेरेन पैरामीटर्स डेराइव फ्रॉम दिस डिस्ट्रेलवेशन मॉडल हाउ टू डेराइव दिस टेरेन पैरामीटर्स इन सागा जी एस आई हैव सोन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो द लिंक ऑफ दोज वीडियो आर गिवेन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो हाउ टू डू सेगमेंटेशन इज गो टू जियो प्रोसेसिंग इमेजरी सेगमेंटेशन एंड ऑब्जेक्ट बेस्ड इमेज सेगमेंटेशन हेयर यू गेट द ग्रेड सिस्टम देन the objects based on which you want to segment your area so we can take all at once and then click okay so that the objects will have statistics of all these parameters it's a very useful in case like you, if you are going for landform delineation there you will find that based on slope you can identify the escarpments hills and other things based on elevation you can identify the hills and plateaus Similarly, based on the topographic wetness index or MRVVF, multi-region valley bottom flatness, you can go for identification of valleys and upland or midland. So, if you are having all these values in your segments, you can generate many rules to identify landform. You have to click OK now. Then, this band width will decide your size of the segments. For doing it faster in this video, we can change it. So, I am changing it to 20. Suppose then. post processing you can go for unsupervised classification here itself in this video we are not discussing this so we we'll leave it as none and then go to okay so once completed you will see the product is here segments open it we may open it on this mrvv window click okay then you have to make some transparency now you can see this polygon here so now you can see the attribute of this segment so attribute see all the mean value for every segment you will find mean value of all the parameters slope aspect curvature and everything is there now we can use these things to generate landform or classify now we'll also see one small example of getting segmentation from fcc so you have to follow the same procedure geo processing imagery segmentation and object based image segmentation we are taking this fcc click okay since this is a small area we can go for two then click okay so now this is now completed you can get it on the same image and give some transparency suppose this team given in apply so see these are the segments now we can easily identify this like water body journey or any feature in the image so now you can save this this segments and open it in QGIS or ArcGIS or any other software for making some rules to identify different features, or we can use unsupervised or supervised classification here itself or in any any other software also. That those things we will be seeing in some further videos. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.